Coding teaches people about discipline, teaches people about focus. It gives you a different perspective in terms of what's possible. I'm Sihle Chabalala and I am the co-founder and CEO of Quirky 30 and we are based in Cape Town, Langa. Quirky 30 is a not-for-profit company which teaches underprivileged youth between the ages of 16 to 35, software development which entails both web and mobile, online digital marketing, graphic design and also cloud skills. I was born and raised in Cape Town, Langa. Having started school at a very young age and finished high school at the age of 16, I turned to the only role models that I know, which are drug lords, arm robbers, and gangsters. And when I was about to turn 19, I got arrested and went to prison for 11 years. Immediately when I was released out of prison, you know, two weeks later, my family started asking me questions. They said, what is it that you're planning to do with your life? After doing research in terms of what skills that I can be able now to learn and also now being able now to teach to others. You know, that's when I found out about coding. So that's when Quirky 30 was then born. Some of my staff members that makes up the Quirky 30 team was once a student here, you know, Nwabisa. So we found Nwabisa at the age of 17, just came out of school. Well, at first, I thought I knew IT for some reason. And, uh, but I didn't. <laughs> I offered her an opportunity to come and train with me, you know, learning both web and mobile development. A few weeks later, it's like she was one of my naturals, you know, it's like she's done this before. Me and my friend had a, con a conversation the other day that where are those things called WhatsApp and Gmail come from? Do you know that this thing that you're doing is actually what people learn in terms of how to build apps like WhatsApp and Facebook? There's only 2% women representation in the ICT sector. You know, it's an industry that hasn't changed. And what I've managed now to do here was to inspire more young women and girls in ICT. You know, and I've done that organically without no special ingredients or magic potion. Um, that's why 70% of my students are girls. Even 60% of my staff are girls. Just where we are alone, there's over 23,000 software vacancies available. And the talent is scarce. So there's a huge demand for people that can program or with coding skills. So we feed that demand in terms of the work that we do here. Coding becomes like a glamorous and a fashionable a skill that you, you need to have in today's age. These are South African heroes. 